the, the best part about the Espresso is that you've got a ready-made bank of resources. So you're not having to search multiple websites. You know you've got one space that gives you different curriculum areas. The video content is excellent, so if I'm covering a uh, topic such as ancient Egyptians or Romans, I'll use it to show children aspects of that history topic. I found it really useful with maths, so we have a scheme that we follow, but it's nice to look at some of the videos and some of the activities um, that Espresso provide. It's great that there is things in Espresso that are not on your planning, but you can enter it together and it can create a great discussion between the class. The videos are not too long uh, and it engages them and, and they get a little bit of knowledge and then they go away and investigate further. They find it fun, it's engaging, it's, um, it's very interactive, everybody can access it of all abilities. It's like a tool bag and there's some days when you come in and you think, you know, I don't think that's going to work what I've got planned. So I'll just open up Espresso and it's, it's a magic hat, you know, you put your hand in and you can pull a rabbit out of the hat and then you've got a lesson. There's things on there that I've learned, you know, a lot about that I haven't put in my planning and we've learned together as a class. For me, it's my first port to call, you know, because the videos are all there. You know, it's easy in the classroom, it, you know, on your big screen, you know, the children are all focused. Um, it is a lot more engaging than just speaking to the children and it puts them within the context of the topic as well. It is probably just that variety. It's, it's not just a, you put a video on or you put an activity on. You've, you've got a range of different ways you can use it in a, in a lesson.